The microwave was never meant to cook food. It all started with a melted candy bar and an engineer who didn't ask any questions. In 1945, Percy Spencer, an engineer at Raytheon, was testing radar technology when a candy bar in his pocket melted. Spencer immediately tested popcorn kernels and eggs. The eggs famously exploded in his face, and he got $2,000 from Raytheon for this invention. Ooh, should have asked for more there. Within two years, Raytheon launched the Radar Range, the first microwave oven standing nearly six feet tall and weighing 750 pounds. This whole story also reminds me of my uh, episode that I did about pink lemonade. And I talked about how marketing accidents. This 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 reeks of folksy, like, fake story to me. It's just like, whoa, then I had a candy bar melted. Ah, it just seems so perfect. Like, the pink lemonade inventor, just like, oh, I dropped my red candy into the, into the lemonade. And pink lemonade took off. And Raytheon, like, you really hiring the same people that are making these mistakes at the carnivals? I'm guessing Raytheon's, like, PR team probably thought it was better to go with, like, the melted candy bar thing instead of being like it melted that prisoner he was testing it on or whatever but microwaves shrunk to a manageable size and exploded in popularity by the late 60s by 1975 microwave sales overtook gas ranges revolutionizing kitchen laziness forever